Auto Line on the Road from CES in Las Vegas is brought to you by our signature sponsor, ZF. See, think, act. And also by Gentex, a smarter vision. And by Magna. Swami Kotagiri is the Chief Technology Officer at Magna International, that giant tier one supplier. Here we are at CES. This has got to be a golden day and golden week for you here. Absolutely, John, and it's always a pleasure to talk to you. It is. Let's go through the different technologies that you're exhibiting here at CES. And why don't we start with this seat configurator? What's this all about? Yeah, I, as you know, Magna has a very broad portfolio. Some of the major themes that we are trying to address here is how we are preparing ourselves to address the mobility ecosystem of the future. What we are trying to address here, or what we are showing, is how our seating product can address uh, the future mobility. Right. So you can have uh, different configurations within the vehicle depending upon the use case. Uh, whether you are on a family vacation, whether you are going to work, it's almost defining the inner space of the car to be your office, to be your living room, or an entertainment area. Uh, the building blocks, which is the mechanisms, the tracks, the materials, the biosensors, all of the technology is there today. Uh, the most important thing here is what is the question that we're asking, right? Are we asking the question, can we have the seats that can be configured in a way that is convenient for the user? And how do we address the safety? Uh, the safety being, is it active safety or is it passive safety? Uh, but as you see in the different configurations here, the tech is there, the configurations are possible, and we can answer both questions. But that is a question that we need to look at from a overall vehicle perspective, right? Right. So, that's a glimpse of how we are looking at the future from a seating perspective. And what I like about your display is you've got these VR goggles so that you can see everything that you just talked about right. in actual CAD animation. Absolutely, and I think that is the best way to immerse somebody in and get the real feel of what it feels like mm -hmm. better in a car because right now it's very difficult to be on the seat on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Let's move down to the next one. You've got a Formula E race car. What's Magna's involvement with this? Uh, Magna is a premier supplier uh, for different OEMs and various powertrain solutions. And no better place uh, than to try uh, the cutting edge technologies than, you know, the racing. Uh, and Formula E brings a very different perspective, right? Uh, it has different parameters of a single charge and how efficiently you use it. What's the best way uh, to get systems with a very good or very high energy and power density and so on. So it gives us a real uh, front row seat viewpoint of where the technology is going and gives us a chance to you know, map the technology roadmap uh, in an effective way. And we're really proud to be uh, talking about emissions and legislations, but show excitement behind it. Exactly right. Yeah. Let's move on to the next one because you've got another very interesting interactive, configurable, what, powertrain display. Yeah. And you take it from there, but I like how you allow different people to come up, and whether they're an OEM, a tier one, a startup, a government, an individual, you yeah. can configure your own powertrain. Yeah, I think the, the viewpoint here was to show that we have a product roadmap that addresses the combustion engines of today to hybrids that are in the transition phase all the way to the full EVs. Uh, as we talk about electrical powertrains, we they, there are few parameters, which is, you know, you, you want it to be efficient, you want it to be economical, you want it to be green, uh, but you still want it to be exciting. Uh, so you have all these things that you can take in and say, I want, you know, 95 grams of CO2 emission, uh, I want a driving range of 125 miles, uh, I want an acceleration you know, so many miles or so many seconds for uh, getting to 60. Uh, do you want features like all-wheel drive and torque vectoring? You can put all this in and it shows, as an example here, uh, it brings up our dual clutch transmission and it brings up our uh, e-axle drive, right? Uh, so depending on the variables you put in, uh, you see which uh, gets the equation and the answer. Well, and what I love about your display here is you can play around with all these different parameters Absolutely. and it'll come up with or suggest different solutions. Exactly. For you. 
because there is different things in some segments and some regions cost is paramount mm -hmm. and in some brands some OEMs some uh, segments drivability is as important as cost and legislation and then you get to people like me and performance is everything everything exactly <laughs> you and me both yeah that's right <laughs> let's go around the corner because I know you've got some safety technology here as well that yeah. we ought to talk about hey, you know as, as long as we're walking here looking at uh, the Formula E it's very impressive how many OEMs have jumped into that series so fast yeah and I think it's going to even take a uh, approach in terms of how they're doing the e-mobility of the future. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, the race is really at the city center. How do you get the people there? The, I, I think it has its own aura behind it. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what do we have here? Uh, here is again in the same uh, principle of how we are trying to show how we're addressing the ADAS or different levels of autonomy. What you see here is the perception on the left uh, top corner, which is a camera, whether it's a rear view camera or forward looking camera or in cabin imaging. Then you have the radar, uh, the LiDAR at the lower left hand corner and the ultrasonic sensors. The intent here is to show the full suite of the sensors. And what you see at the center is different levels of the domain controller, which is in simple words, the compute uh, and how to fuse all these things together. Mm -hmm. Uh, what we have is a simple ECU to get a 360 view all the way to what you must have seen on the MAX 4, yeah. which is your level 4 and 5. So this to show uh, the, uh, the ability for Magda to address or bring features as products on different levels of autonomy. And I just want to point out one thing that we get on camera here. This is the LiDAR system that he was talking about. Look how small it is. Yes. You're, you're really getting there now. And one of the things, as you know, uh, working uh, with, the, with that LiDAR, we are going to be launching our first solid state LiDAR on a BMW program. So it's not anymore an experiment. <laughs> Swami, it's always fun to talk to you. I always learn something new. You're always a step ahead of where I, my knowledge is. So thank you for your time today. Thank you. It's always my pleasure. Good job. Good deal. Autonomous driving, sensor power, cloud-based connectivity. ZF, shaping next generation mobility.